to split up this evening. But uh, tonight is, is the night before opening day. We've been here the past couple days scouting and looking for deer, I'm trying to put a game plan together and find some options before opening day. So right now we're sitting here looking at a nice, really nice 4x4. Here we are, 2019 early season, high country archery hunt in Utah. This is one of our favorite hunts every year. It's a great way to kick off the year. This is a unit that we've been hunting for three years now, and we've really started to figure it out. We don't have trouble finding animals. We showed up a couple days early to put in some scouting and work before the hunt. Uh, located some awesome deer, and things are really looking up, so we can't wait to get started. Six yards had it went ten inches past the back of it. So ten inches of penetration. How was your group compared three to the field points? I had a three inch group at sixty and we have a probably eight to ten mile an hour breed. Crosswind. And the broadhead flew the same? It was better. It flew better than the broad, uh, field field points. We'll try it again at 65. Well, at least you hit better. Yeah, maybe that's it. And this is shot through the, the most used part of the target. This ain't. Yeah, penetrating pretty well. I'm using the Victory VAP TKO, the 300 spine. I added 95 grains to the front. I'm using a 100 grain fixed blade here. And at 65 yards is 12 inches of penetration out the back. I'm almost blowing through the target. Pretty happy with the setup. Let's see what it does on a deer.
Our problem. Well, we found out these we have two hunters here decided to cross the snow, which I don't understand that concept. They'll stand out. Now they're hiking back out. Because they think they finally saw us. It blew out. I heard an elk and I heard a deer here. Makes sense, at least they didn't see us, I guess. They still saw humans. Is that two guys on a spotter? Yeah. Fuck. Damn. I 
after spotting two different groups of hunters above us with one of them walking straight down the middle of the basin and toward the bachelor group, we knew we needed to do something quickly or our opening morning hunt was over. We made a split second decision to book it down the back side of the ridge, hoping that the pressure would push the deer herd right to us. of public land hunting. Oh well, you gotta love it though. Looks like a, a Long freaking back. free for all down here. Deer just running everywhere. Watch right here. Hey Ranger. I think I'm about taking that buck. Oh they're going down. There's those deer. They're going down in the aspens right now. That's that buck. That's that little buck, but there's a buck right here. Keep watching him, keep watching him. Watch where he goes, watch where he goes. Knock another arrow. Knock another arrow. He did, he's staying right there. He's right there, he's right there. I see him. He's right, he's right down here. He's walking by the aspens. He's right 
for the Aspen team going in the woods. See him. Hey, he's bleeding, he's bleeding. There's blood on his belly. See all the blood? He's gonna go down in there. Keep watching him. Oh, the same guys. This moved the deer towards us just popped down down there. They're walking right towards Caleb's deer. Just came down here and found the, the buck. He was injured. He's done. Dude, can you believe that? He's a freaking star. down here and found him. He was literally standing on his front knees. Because yeah, these guys are down right there. Literally 20 yards away. We were, we were trying to stop them from blowing him out. So we ran down here and Caleb found him. Sorry guys, I was just, we were trying to get your attention because he had just shot him and he ran straight down here. Mike, hey, well, sorry dude. Hey, <laughs> that was That's a sweet. cool thing to watch, I guess. <laughs> Caleb, that buck is a, for this unit, that's, that's a, that's a monster. That's the best you can get. During this hunt, we definitely let frustration get the best of us. We took public land pressure and turned it into a positive that ended up paying off for us in a big, big way. This was a buck of Boone and Crockett caliber from a unit you can draw every single year. Without the attainable access to public lands and the other hunters who contribute to hunting and conservation, we might never have had an experience this memorable. Not only is sharing and competing with other hunters on public land necessary, but recruiting new hunters and increasing the hunting population is imperative to the future and success of hunting and conservation across the United States. Not a giant. It's an absolute stuff. <laughs> yep. You got it? What is it? That's it. What? Are you serious? Three inches from 200. Are you serious? <laughs> 